Hey guys, it's Barry with the Gimme Camper. So we're coming at you today from Fort Pickens in Pensacola, Florida. This is a U.S. park. Um, it's a national seashore. And so if you have the America's Beautiful Pass or the Senior Pass, or I think even just the regular annual pass, you can get in for admission to the park for free here. We're also gonna do a review on the campground. We're gonna do that as a separate video. But this was kind of long, so I was gonna split it up into a couple of videos. And so and the first one's just gonna be about the park in general. And for those of you that's never been here, I've never been here before, you know, this is a beautiful area. This fort was constructed in the 1800s. I believe it was in, 18, in the 1830s. And it's been renovated a couple of times through the years. And now it's a, a park for us to just enjoy. I read that there's, seems like they said 30 million bricks that make this fort up it's a lot of bricks a lot of arches a lot of beautiful beautiful landscape in this fort right now so you know the fort is on the uh, tip of the peninsula here in pensacola there was another fort that was across the way they built this after the war of 1812 and so that was to you know protect the navy yard that they had put in across the bay over there now the issue with that is the only time that this fort has apparently ever seen any war was during the civil war when the confederacy had control of the fort across the bay and there was some gunfire exchanged um, but they say that the cannons at the time had a range of about a mile and a half but only an accurate range up to about a mile and so it's about a mile and a half to the other fort and so neither one of them really did any damage to the other this is supposedly one of the only forts that are in the deep south that never fell to the Confederacy during the Confederate War. This is about a 10, 15 minute drive from Pensacola Beach, just down a, a road that goes just down this peninsula. It's kind of windy. Uh, it's 25 miles an hour the whole way or it wouldn't take too long at all. It just brings you right up to the park. Um, there's beaches you can walk to all along that national seashore there you know they're not real commercialized or anything like that which we really found intriguing and liked about the area there was a hurricane here a few months ago uh, back in october this is over new year's that we visited and i was afraid that would impact uh, some things still around our stay and stuff and you see some construction going on different places some tarps over the roofs and stuff like that but the only thing that's really impacted our stay as far as getting here and getting around is the fact that the main bridge is out that goes from Pensacola Beach over to uh, Pensacola. And because of that, if you want to go over there, you have to drive all the way around a couple of other bridges. And so this uh, six mile journey that's normally over a bridge ends up taking you about an hour, hour and a half. We drove around all that way one day in order to go to the uh, U.S. Navy Aviation Museum that's in Pensacola. And that was about an hour and a half drive. We got over there and then they said they were only open to people who had base access. And so they were turning everybody else away, which I'm guessing is due to COVID, but I really wish they would have uh, been a little more forthcoming about that on their social media and stuff. I did find that buried in their uh, main website page, but it's not on their social media. If you called the hotline, it didn't say anything about it being closed to the public. That was a little disappointing because in the winter time, like right now, uh, the biggest downside to winter camping is that that sun comes down early. And it gets dark around here about five o'clock. And so we wasted about three hours of sunlight just driving there and back one day because it was only open from like 10 to four, because initially I was thinking that'd be nice for something to do after it got dark, but it was a little bit too late at that point. You know, as far as Fort Pickens here, um, like I say, the park, it was really nice to explore the fort itself and all the architecture here. It was really nice to walk along. You can walk around this whole peninsula. And we started here and we went all the way around to the end where I think don't think a whole lot of people walk and ended up walking back around. There's another uh, battery fort that's on the other side of the peninsula here. So there's trails like all through this place as far as getting from the road to the beach. But 
we went over there and it had just recently rained and you know there was a lot of shells and stuff over there because you know a lot of people don't walk down these areas and it was just nice to not be at some hotel that's all commercialized and have 500 million people out at the beach especially during these uh covid times that we're in and it's just been a really nice vacation it's been a nice getaway it's been about 65 70 here over new years and it's dropped at night down to about 40 once and it's supposed to get down to about 37 tonight but it's been a nice stay i highly recommend this area i highly recommend this area and if you're interested in the campground review if you want to bring your camper down i'm going to give you the better sites to stay in in the campground review video which you'll find a link to up in the corner here and in the description do not forget to hit that subscribe button